as we're building out the vision, mission, and values pages in our team hub, we'll have Confluence on the left and then Coda on the right. And if at any point in time you want to skip through some of the building, you can just click on the chapters in the video show notes. So the mission and values, vision, mission, and values starts with adding a page here in Confluence. We'll do everything in Confluence first. And so I could say in the page title, once the Confluence page editor loads, let me close this out for now, vision, mission, and values. And uh, I'm going to copy and paste some of the content for my mission, vision, values from another page that I already have um, just to keep things moving faster. So let me just copy all this stuff here. And there we have it. Um, other things you can do with this, you can also add an emoji. Let's add like a light bulb. And one thing that's really nice about Confluence is the ability to add call out text. And so I'm gonna copy and paste some call out text right here. This is kind of like, uh, let me actually make this a little smaller. And I want people, when they first come to this Team Hub Vision, Mission, and Values, I want them to really read this and have it stand out. And I actually want to delete this for now. And I'm just going to select this and then select this drop down here and say, um, I think it's called Call Out or somewhere down here. Info Panel, that's what it's called. So now when I look at this, I can see like, okay, this is great. I have a call out text that might, anyone on the team will see when they first uh, come to this page. And it looks like this vision header didn't copy over, right? So there we go. So vision, mission, and values. Um, one final thing is we can maybe add a header image to make this look a little cleaner and or a little more engaging. Let's add a little road thing here. And that's basically our, our first page in our team hub. The first thing to notice about Confluence is that if you're using the cloud version, you have to, multiple people cannot edit this page at the same time. It's one person at a time and you have to have the proper administration rights, admin rights to edit and publish content. So after you write the content, you actually have to hit publish in the top right here to actually publish the page to your team hub. Otherwise it's gonna sit in a draft folder and it's not gonna actually show up in your Confluence team hub. So we have one page here, which has our mission, uh, vision, mission, and values. Now there are interesting ways to make this page more interactive. One thing we can do is look at ways we can add reactions. So how do you know that people in your team have actually read through this vision, vi vision mission, and values? One thing we can do is look at the page statistics um, for the page, which is one way of doing it. But what if you just want to see, like, you want to get a quick overview of, like, who's read what. And so I'm going to go to a page here um, in the Alaska Marketplace. This is Reactions for Confluence. If you want it, um, actually, I'm not even sure if it exists for cloud. Oh, it doesn't exist for cloud. So if you're on the server version of Confluence, you can add page reactions, which look like this. So when someone reads part of your page, they can click on an emoji to indicate that they've actually read the page or um, have, you know, added in their added input or feedback to the page, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this is only for uh, the server version and you probably have to pay for it after a while. So we're not going to play with that for now. Um, let's look at other ways we can structure our vision, mission, and values. So. One way of making this a little easier to read, let's go back to the edits. You notice I have to, when I want to edit the actual content on the page, I have to click that little pencil icon. Let's say I have a really long page in Confluence and I want to <clears throat> split up the content or add a table of contents so my teammates can quickly skip to a, a part of the, the page of the t team hub. So let me go down here. And usually you want to add a table of contents near the top of the page. And so I'm going to write in um, I'm going to type the slash key and that opens up a menu of a bunch of things that I can add to Confluence. And if you have used Confluence for a while, you probably understand this notion of macros or kind of like quick add-ins you can add into Confluence. So I'm going to write slash table of contents. The first option is here. And I'm still in the edit mode of Confluence. 
And there's a bunch of settings on the right hand side. I want the output to be a list. Let me display the section numbering. And there's a bunch of other settings. I'm gonna leave this alone for now. Close that out. You don't actually see what the table of contents looks like here until after you hit publish on the page. So let's take a look at what this looks like or what this does for a Confluence page. So now you can see we have, we can just click on one of these headers and it skips us right to that specific part of our page. And everything's on one page right now, so it doesn't really skip very well. But I actually don't like these numbers, so I'm gonna click on edit again and click on this table of contents macro, click on the pencil icon, deselect display number, display section numbering, hit publish, and it's a regular kind of table of contents. Um, another way that you can think about structuring your mission, vision, and values is if you have a lot of content, you might, wanna, might want to put this on multiple pages. So I can click on this create a child page and I'm gonna copy some content over from my vision detail page. I'm gonna call this, let's say, vision detail and do all the normal things to make this fun, add like an emoji and Let's just call that for now. And then I'm gonna close, I have to publish this. Don't forget to publish, publish the page. And now you can see if I collapse, I can open this and collapse this to see a sub page or child page within my mission, vision, mission and values parent page. Let's just add one more, well, let's add two more child pages. We'll add a mission detail. Let's call this mission detail. Add an emoji really quick. Hit publish. And maybe you might also want to add a team charter. A lot of team hubs I've seen have team charters in them, basically de describing how the team, the team functions and it's North Star. So let's add an emoji for the team find a star. Okay, publish. <clears throat> and there we go. So let's assume that on our mission our parent page here, we want to find a way to link to these sub pages. So let's go back to our edit page mode and I'm going to delete these, this uh, table of contents for now. And let's just move this stuff down here for a while. And I'm going to now insert a new macro and this macro will basically take uh, your children pages and put them as table of contents in your current parent page. So I'll write slash children display. Again, you'll get a bunch of settings on the right hand side. I want to show descendants because I want to show the child pages. The parent page is actually the page I'm on right now. And this is nice. You can actually see what the output is from this macro. Hit publish. And so in the event that you have multiple child pages like this, you can have them, you can automatically get a table of contents that link to these child pages. And I can click on mission detail it would automatically bring me to this uh, sub parent or sub child page in my vision, mission, and values page. This is really important again if you have many different sub pages and you want to quickly link to these different parts of your vision, mission, and values, and you want to organize this into kind of this higher hierarchical format. So that's how you can build a, a mission, vision, mission, and values in a Confluence Team Hub. Now let's look at this for Coda. Um, I'm on Team Awesome's Team Hub right here. Let's again add a page for vision, mission, and values. And I'm gonna collapse this for now. Similar to Confluence, I can add an icon for the page. For the cover, I wanted to do like kind of a, I think we did a street. And we can just click on that. And I'm going to copy again the content from an existing team hub that I've already already created. And just to show you what this content will look like. And you'll notice that the formatting looks really similar to Confluence. We can add in emojis. We can add in headers. Um, as of August 2022, we, we don't have callout text right now. So instead of doing callout text, um, or highlighting, what you can do is click on page options, click on subtitle, and then this could kind of be like that call out text. It's not as highlighted as Confluence, but it's there if you want it. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> a few things to notice about Coda is you can obviously embed 
or write a bunch of text, but you can also embed images. This is actually a table of cards. We'll talk about that in a future video. Um, let me just check my notes here to see what other features I want to discuss on the Coda page. Um, the main thing I want to talk about here is the page reaction. Remember how in Confluence we talked about how you can add this add-on to your Confluence Team Hub, but it's only for the server or data center. Actually, I'm not making sure it's for data center. Oh, it's only for the server edition where you can react to content. This is basically that um, in Coda, this is what that reaction button looks like. It's free to use. It's part of building block within Coda. And again, the benefit for having this at the bottom of your mission, vision, 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 mission and values page is after people are done reading this, they can click on this and say, yeah, I read this. I've, you know, agree with our vision, mission and values. And that's a way for you as the team admin or team leader to get a pulse check on who has actually read this page in the team hub. And if people haven't read it, then you can just ping them on Slack or on teams and say, Hey, take a look at this page and react on the emoji. And you can change this to be a different kind of a icon as well. If you want to pick something a little more creative that matches your team culture and spirit, uh, in terms of creating a table of contents, like we did in confluence here, let's go back to this. Remember how we had a macro to show us the sub pages or, you know, headers on the current page in Coda, you can click on page options, click on the outline toggle and it automatically just gives you this, um, this fixed outline or table of contents as you're scrolling down the page. Again, this is really helpful when you have a lot of content. So if I want to click on values, it'll automatically scroll me down to that values parts values header in my, in my Coda page. So similar to Confluence, you can also add sub pages. Let's say we want to split out our vision detail into a, its own page and we can give it its own icon. And we'll do another uh, for mission detail. Give it its own icon. And then I think we also had a team charter. Give it some icon. And you'll notice that um, in you when you scroll up, Coda automatically adds these sub pages as kind of like clickable options you can click on. Um, you can see how it, it's, it's, it just skips right to that child page or sub page. You can also make these look different too. You can make these really large. I can change this to be uh, medium size or super large. I'm gonna keep these small for now. And I can just click on them and it goes to that page. I can click back to go back to kind of like the home page or the parent page. And so that's how you can do sub pages and have them show up as a somewhat of a table of contents within your parent vision, mission and values page. Um, the last thing I'll point out in terms of uh, feature differences is remember in Confluence, you have to click on the pencil icon to edit a page and then publish to actually publish the page. In Coda, everything is real-time collaborative, so you can have multiple people, hundreds of people, editing this. If you have multiple team admins or team leaders, they can all be writing at the same time, and everything's real-time. It's similar to Google Docs that, in that respect, in terms of everything's real-time um, collaborative editing. And you don't have to worry about editing, publishing, editing, publishing. It's all just uh, real-time. And so that's um, kind of the how you could build a team, a mission, vision, mission, and values page or pages in your team hub in both Confluence and Coda.